Hello everybody, my name is Rich Hanrahan. My good friend Chris Very, your teacher, asked me to do a little tutorial type of thing for the classroom for this year since you guys weren't able to uh, actually be in the classroom. And I was happy to do so. Uh, I've got my good friend Kevin here helping me film. Just wanted to talk about where my music influences came from, where I started. Grew up listening to music with my dad, a lot of older jazz, and um, always listened to big band stuff and like that. Kind of out of the um, box of what my friends might have been listening to. But I think that's my most early influence, and um, I don't know that if that comes out in my playing, but um, definitely where it started. And then pop, of course. I would be driving to hockey practice on a Saturday morning, and I'd hear a Steely Dan tune, and I'd think about that. wow, I'd like to be able to do that. Um, maybe someday. But I really started with wanting to play the drums from the big band stuff. So I do play a little drums. I got my kit here. I might sit there for a minute. But um, as Chris knows, I'm a better bass player than a drummer. But um, he's a killer drummer, by the way. So uh, I got started in a, in a group of guys in junior high playing guitar. And everybody wanted to be the guitar player. Everybody wanted to do those solos, you know, like that. That kind of stuff. And, you know, after a while, I wasn't as good as everybody else that was around at the time that I was hanging out with. And we were all friends, so they asked me to play the bass and said, well, we need a bass player, you know, you're a good dude. Why don't you think about that? So I, I decided to do so. And with the, the drum background, it ties right together with the rhythm section. So, I, you know, I don't have somebody here playing drums, but, you know, like you can get funky with the drummer and be percussive on the bass. And I, I found that's what I really liked more than the guitar. Nothing against you guitar players. You're all good. But um, the bass is another level of um, rhythm, you know, of locking in with the drummer. Give you a little funky riff here. So I like the funky stuff. Um, playing a couple rock bands locally. Main band I play with is Too Tall Slim and the Guilty Pleasures. Chris has seen us. Um, we're kind of an eclectic mix of really good musicians that started the band with the focus of kind of the blues where I was steeped in the blues for a long time, but um, there's a lot of music that came from the blues, obviously, and um, rock and roll, you know, 70s type of rock and roll like the Allman Brothers, the Grateful Dead some of the influences that came later for me and some of the guys in the band. Um, not that they were doing just that, but we've evolved into doing more pop stuff, dance stuff. It's kind of a cool thing. And we have originals as well, which um, we all kind of co-write. Um, that's been fun. I do not read music, so all you music students, I'm just a hack. But I can get down on the bass and it's a lot of fun. Um, so. I guess um, the other bands I'm playing with are more funk or uh, more um, folky kind of bluegrassy and um, taking songs that might be rock songs and turning them into um, bluegrass versions, more folk. And so I play around town a lot. Chris is, and, and his wife has, have come to see me many times, which I appreciate. Um, there's a great music scene in Delaware. I'm just really happy to be part of it. Um, and I want to show you one of my new toys. I showed you my electric here. I got a couple of electric basses. And, um, so we'll get down on my new toy here. I'll let Kevin, um, I don't know if you want to follow me or um, we got what's called the ukulele bass and um, I bought it because I was doing more singer-songwriter kind of stuff and um, so here it is it's made of ebony and it's just another level of bass for me it's got rubber strings so it's like rubber bands but not really they're not as um, 
not as um, rubbery as rubber bands, but check this thing out. It's been fun, it's fairly so, expensive. It's not a toy. That's the U base, and it, to me, it's reminiscent of a stand up because you can get those sliding. It's fretless, it's got fret markers, but it's fretless. So I'm getting like that stand up sound, and it's great for jazzy stuff, it's great for folk stuff. Um, you can do like some good walking stuff, like. So again, it's not a toy. Um, I've used it on gigs, and there was a show we were doing, and um, a bass player from another band was outside and came into the venue and said, "Where's the guy with the stand-up?" And it was this, and it just you know it really sounded a lot like a stand-up to him. Miles Davis all blues. So again, the jazz stuff's been influencing me for years. All the music, I think all music all the time. If you don't expose yourself to music that you may not gravitate towards, you should expose yourself to it anyway because you don't know what you're missing. I'm talking about hip hop. I have a daughter who's 21 that bands I've never heard of. I give a listen. I might not like it all, but I still give a listen. So I guess for me, the whole thing about music is it brings people together. The community in Wilmington has been great. There's a lot of talented musicians. I'm really happy to be part of it. Do we, do we want to try to get a little drum shot in? <laughs> so Chris can give a little laugh. I got this drum set. I've been trying to play it more and more. And I just do the basic stuff. I don't do anything fancy, but you know. That's about all, folks. I'd like to thank Chris again for having me do this. Um, you know, music's where it's at. Peace.